Hi, I'm James Nave. I'm Allegra Houston. And welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. Thanks for tuning in. Every Saturday, we meet uh, live on Zoom with a group of people. Whoever wants to join us, maybe that will include you one of these Saturdays. Mm -hmm. You can always find the Zoom link at imaginativestorm.com. 10 o'clock Mountain Time, noon Eastern Time. Indeed. 5 p.m. London Time, unless the clocks are changing at a different time of day, uh, different time of year, different week. I'm sorry. Whatever. Season. Um, Maybe we'll just <laughs> have a season. Um, so what do we do? We share a prompt. It's either an image or a sound file. And while we play that prompt for two minutes, we ask you to generate a list of words. And we will keep track of the time. And all you have to do is look at the prompt and let your imaginations pop words out and write those words down. And in the course of the two minutes, if a phrase pops out, that's fine too. And the words or phrases don't have to have anything to do with the image. They don't have to have anything to do with one another. And just keep them as a list. It's not joined up writing yet. So here's we... your here's your here's your image. Every Saturday morning, we go around the room when everyone is finished with their words and we take one word from each person and we create a community list. So what we'd like to do now is read our community list to you so you'll have that list as well. Here it is. That was good. That was better, yeah. Recurring, portal, vortex, reverberation, penetrating, seeking, Volcanic, foreboding, fool's gold, ochre, puddle, mysterious Hebrew letter, tripping, swallowed, kaleidoscope, craggy, escape, solitude, friend, dig deep, subversive, nature's graffiti, geographic, curiosity, zero, Ooh, great. Marking of place. So the nice thing about having a community list is that you can borrow from other people's imaginations and you don't just have to rely on your own. Okay, I'll carry okay, on. Okay, carry on. <laughs> I'm usually the one that talks too she, much. She tossed it over to, over to me. So I will pick it up. You don't have to, re, to rely on your own. You have, you have the work of others and you can put all of that together and make something in 10 minutes. Anything, whatever you feel, even not necessarily what you feel moved to write, whatever your imagination <laughs> wants to do, just let it do that and follow along. 
You can use many of the words from both the lists. You can use one word to start off from that you find on one list or the other. You can use none of the words at all if you want. It's entirely up to you. And if you glance over your list or the list that we have as the community list and just start like putting the words together in, in odd little ways, you'll start to see how much fun that is. So feel free to let your imagination guide you as you go through the next 10 minutes. We call it letting the imaginative mind dance with the rational mind. There you go. <laughs> See, we didn't rehearse that. Um, the imaginative mind and the rational mind dancing together and let the imaginative mind be the one to lead the dance. So how about it? Your dance begins now.
So if what you wrote pleased you, we'd like for you to post it on our Imaginative Storm Circle community. People from the calls on Saturday morning, they, they, post, they posted a lot of work there. So we got a chance to read their work. And when you post your work on the, the Circle community, we'll be able to enjoy what you've written. So when you go to imaginativestorm.com, you'll see the Zoom link for the Saturday morning writing prompt of the week here and also here. And if you continue to scroll down, you will find Join Us on Circle. Click that link. And when you get there for the first time, you will find a, a thing sort of up here in the top right saying join or, or you know, log in or something like that. I can't remember. So you can log in with your Google or Facebook ID or create a new ID and password. It's free. And when you've done that, it will look like this. So here are four spaces that explain to you kind of what we're about and what we're doing here on the circle. And over on the left, you will see this area, share your writing. And here is prompt of the week. Click on that. And you will see all the prompts of the week since we first started doing this in order from most recent at the top. So when you get there, the most recent prompt will be posted. We usually, we have it posted by um, the end of the day on Saturday. And when you click on it, you'll see the prompt itself, the community list, and then whatever pieces of writing the other people who've done the prompt have posted. And those are comments attached to the post. So if you scroll down to the bottom, like so, you will get to a place where it's inviting you to make a comment. And that's where you can type out what you wrote to the prompt. I don't know if you noticed as I was scrolling through, there was one person here who actually recorded a selfie video of herself reading what she wrote and she posted that. So feel free to do that if you would like to do that. When you've posted a comment, other people can hit like or hit reply if they want to comment specifically um, and say, you know, what in the piece popped for them. Feel free to, to um, add those, you know, those comments, those uh, moments of praise for what other people have written. We ask you not to be critical because, as you know, these are pieces that are only written in 10 minutes. So. Um, criticism, negative criticism um, is really, you know, just not relevant. What we want to know as writers is what we've created that has energy, what pops for you as a reader, what do you find surprising and intriguing. So if you have that response to a piece of somebody else's that you read here, please do hit reply and let them know. Also over here, you will see a space to post for the daily prompts that we put on social media. And here, One Last Lunch. I won't tell you much about it other than that it's a book that I contributed to. And I think it's one of the most interesting writing prompts ever devised. So I do encourage you to try that out as well. So we hope you post on the Imaginative Store and Circle community and a couple of other things you might be interested in. We have, we have, a, we have three books now, How to Edit and Be Edited, How to Read for an Audience, and How to Make a Speech. And we're very happy with those books. And you can find them at imaginativestorm.com. Do you have anything else to just say about that? follow the link. Uh, you will reach our little publishing company, which mm -hmm. is called twice5miles.com. And if you know Coleridge's Kubla Khan, you will recognize the phrase twice five miles. We also do imaginative storm writer training. We're working on the book of that now, so soon we'll have four books. Um, but meanwhile, we are offering some imaginative storm writer training single sessions on memoir, character, setting, how to edit and be edited, and how to read for an audience. And you can find out details of those and more about them and contact us, please, if you would like even more information. But you can find out about them at imaginativestorm.com. And we look forward to connecting with you sometime soon, maybe on the Zoom call on Saturday or somewhere else. For now, thanks ever so much for tuning in, and we hope to catch you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.